The Gorn, a proud, civilized, intelligent, sentient people capable of space travel and walking on two legs, or mindless monsters that eat each other. Welcome back to Star Trek Nitpickers, everybody. Thanks for being here. Lieutenant William here, and today we're talking about All Those Who Wander, the latest episode from Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Now, I know, they've basically been rewriting the Gorn in this series from the beginning, and I say basically because I know someone can always come up with some crazy explanation, like Captain Kirk just not mentioning that he and lots of other people knew about the Gorn when he seems to be encountering one for the first time in Arena. But what really surprised me in this Strange New Worlds episode was the way they depicted them as animal-minded. Now, maybe this is because these are baby Gorn, but that leads me to the other thing that seemed odd. Whether or not these Gorn are going to become sentient when they mature, La'an is treating them like they're basically in the same category as the Gorn that she had to deal with when she was a child. Now, in earlier episodes, she talked about the Gorn like they were a cunning and cruel, organized group of individuals. When we see them here, they're clearly just animals. So, if they're just children, it's clear that they're just trying to eat, like any newborn creature. It just seems sort of un-Star Trek-like for the crew to be killing off newborns from an intelligent species, but I know they don't have much choice here. The really odd thing is the way La'an doesn't separate this group of wayward children from the Gorn hegemony. I mean, isn't this like a Hugh Borg situation here? Shouldn't she at least be capable of seeing how these things are just animals? She's treating them like people who have made a decision to be part of a group that has terrible values. If a bunch of coyotes eat your family, you don't go around talking about how the coyotes are all evil and they need to be stopped before they wipe us all out. You recognize nature's dark side, but you understand the difference between an animal eating something and a person fighting for territory or just being cruel for fun. Now, if the idea is that they don't develop into intelligent individuals, you know, if the idea is that these basically are as mature as they get, then how do they get around outer space? If you tell me that these things are actually also warp drive specialists, I'm just going to have to laugh at that. So, they're babies, right? Well, how exactly did these babies from a proud and intelligent species get left in this situation? That's the thing that really gets me about all this, I guess. She made it clear in the first or second episode that the Gorn were exceedingly cruel, but we were never told why. We were never even given her theory. I assumed the idea was that there was a fight for territory going on. That was never explained, though, so it's possible the idea is that they just hunt humans to lay eggs in them and eat them. Not a nice thing to do. And the whole point of the episode that first introduced the Gorn in the 60s was that as alien as they seemed, they were actually more like us than unlike us. They only attacked an Earth colony because they felt they needed to in order to protect their territory. The whole point was that the scary alien attacking you might actually have an understandable, even sympathetic reason for doing so, while now the idea that the Gorn even need any logical motivation to attack seems like it might have gone out the window, it might be gone. The idea that the audience needs to understand the motivation of the Gorn is gone. I mean, the baby Gorn in this are very obviously an homage or ripoff, depending on how you want to look at it, to the creatures in the Ridley Scott film Alien. The whole plot of this episode was a reference to that franchise, basically. Of course, this creature looks a little more like the monsters in Stranger Things, which is, of course, a more popular show. The way we see through the eyes of the alien as it hunts humans is homage to the Predator films. But of course, Star Trek Enterprise already did this in their episode with the Gorn. Alright, that's about it guys, but hey, please do help us hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. We are very close, and that's the challenge that we've laid out for ourselves here. Also, please do leave us a comment letting us know what you think about this and about all things Star Trek in the comments section below. Thanks for watching everybody. Live long and prosper.